My hands are fucking tingling, boys. You want to know why my hands are tingling? Because a new Pendulum Archetype just got released. And the only way this Pendulum Archetype will be good is if Electromite comes back to life! Which means Electromite is coming back, baby! Let's go! It's coming back! And I'm going to tell you guys why in this video. Because the Remy Cord is a specific deck that is only good if Electromite comes back. So it's inevitable. Our baby is coming back. I'll see you soon. I'll see you soon. Mommy's gonna see you soon. I love you. I'll see you soon. This is my baby. Do an electro one. Which you can get on TripleGaming.com while supplies last. I'll be seeing you in the TCG very soon, my love. For now though, we're gonna discuss all 12 cards in the Doremi Core archetype and how they synergize with Electrum and how they synergize with a few other archetypes in Yu-Gi-Oh and how they work and every single thing you gotta know about the Remy Chords will be explained in the next 10 minutes. Let's go, baby. Cause let me tell you something. If you think the Remy Chords suck, they don't. You suck. Cause the only thing the Remy Chords will be sucking will be the championship trophy and the champagne after we win the next regional with Pendulums. Pen best deck, baby. Let's go! So now it's time to discuss why the Remy Chords are actually good. And it's not just because the pen dot says so. I'm going to explain exactly why now. But before we do, boys, don't forget to smash the subscribe button. We're almost at 41,000 subscribers. We're 100 subscribers away from our 41k goal. And when we do that, we're going to destroy Team Samurai X1 in a, a Yu-Gi-Oh! duel. So smash the subscribe button. Anyways, let's get started. So first things first, Electrum is amazing in this deck. Why? Because they have a normal summonable searcher in Doremi Gord Kutea. Now, this card is the whole engine of the deck. The idea behind this deck is that Doremi Gord Kutea, when it is normal or special, so whether it is normal summon or whether it is special summon of Chronograph or whatever it may be, Pendulum Summon with the gate zero as a scale, you get its effect. And it searches a very powerful card, which I'll discuss in the video, but the fact that it's a searcher Pendulum is massively amazing. You could normal summon this and search any scale you want and then have access for this Doremi Chord monster. Now, the Pendulum effect of every Doremi Chord card, they all suck. Anyways, let's move forward to the other cool Doremi Chord monsters. So next is, is the next one. This is the scale set, the Doremi Chord Kutea scale eight. Next is the level two scale seven. This is Doremi Chord Drumea. So the effect of Drumea is the scale effect, same thing as Kutea. Pendulum summon cannot be negated, but the monster effect says, if there is a Doremi Chord card in your Pendulum Zone, you can special summon this card from your hand. So let me give you guys an idea right now, okay? You normal summon uh, Doremi Gord Kutea, and you search Dreamea. And then, because you're playing a larger Doremi Gord engine, you're going to scale just a random Doremi Gord monster. And then, you activate Dreamea's effect to special summon itself. So just like that, you have a one card Electromite in Kutea because of Dreamea, assuming that you already are playing a lot of Doremi Chords, so Dreamea could special summon itself. Uh, as for the next one here, we got uh, Doremi Chord Elitea. Doremi Chord Elitea, uh, its effect is, if this card is normal or special summon, you can target one spell trap your opponent controls, return it to the hand. Now, that is pretty good. It's good to have a built-in engine of the Doremi Core deck that deals with the back row. So, so far, what we have is a Searcher, a card that special summons an extender. So, a Searcher, we have an extender, we have a card that deals with back row. All these get their effects on Pendulum Summon as well. So far, so good. We're gonna go on to the next one, and this card is very good, but people don't just saw this card and think it sucked because it doesn't seem like a plus one, but it actually is. During your main phase, this is the fourth one, the Remy Chord Fancia. During your main phase, you can take a Remy Chord Pendulum Monster from your deck, except Fancia, and put it in your face-up extra deck. Why is this important? It's because the Remy Chord Field Spell will then take the card from the extra deck and give it to your hand. So, hand-in-hand, hand, they're together, they give you a plus one. And this is very important, because now this makes your whole deck searchable. And because this whole deck has so many different parts of the deck that's good, they have a card that takes care of back row. They have the searcher. They have the extender. They have the uh, uh, another card that, that searches a spell card. And they have all these other aspects. 
it's very good to have this for the deck. It's a plus one if used correctly. So I'm a big fan of Fansea. Together, so far, we have, ba this is half a searcher. So basically you have a full searcher, a half searcher, a uh, card that deals with back row. All can be pegged up someone gets their effects and we have an extender. So far, so good. We're gonna go on to the next one here. This is Doremicord Grisea. So this, now we're reaching the scale fours and less. These cards, uh, they don't stop the Pendulum Summon from being negated, but instead your opponent can activate monster spells and trap cards on the Pendulum Summon, which is massive. So if this card is normal or special, you can add a Doremicord Spell Slash Trap from your deck to the hand. This is very important because now you have access to your field spell and more importantly, you have access to the counter trap of the deck, which I think is absolutely fantastic. And hey, guess what? This card is searchable via Cutea. So this whole deck is searchable and this card just adds a spell size trap. So at first look, like I said, Dremi cards look like they suck, but they're actually so good, especially when Electromite comes back because you make Electromite for free and you can even use Electromite to send now, this is a level 5, but that's fine. Because it says search this. It's like another Zephyr Nui getting the counter trap, essentially. It's very good to have this in the deck. Uh, anyways, let's go to the next Dormi Court. So this one says during your main phase, you can tribute. So this monster is Dormi Court uh, Angelea. Uh, during your main phase, you can tribute one Dormi Court Pendulum Monster. And if you do spell summon Dormi Court Pendulum Monster with the scale that is too higher or lower or lower than the, special, than the tributed monster from the deck. So this card special summons. Any Dremi Cord from your deck according to the Dremi Cord monster you have. And this is massive because, uh, so if you look, it says, and uh, tribute a Dremi Cord Pendulum monster, if you do special summon one Dremi Cord Pendulum monster with a Pendulum scale that is too high or lower than that monster. So you could tribute uh, itself and its Pendulum scale, any special, any monster with the scale of one or five. So that's instantly massive. That is massive because it gets you the half searcher. It gets you the boss of the deck, which you guys are about to see soon. That's massive. And the fact that it's searchable again by Qtea is very good. And on top of that, it has a little effect with damage. That's not important, but it could come up. So we got Butea. So the effect of Butea says, quick effect. You can target one effect monster your opponent controls during this turn. If that card to leave the field, banish it. It could come up. If you have an even number of pendulum scale in your pendulum zone, you can target one face of spells to trap your opponent controls instead. So, so far, out of this one, I think this is the worst one out of all of them. Uh, because this one... For one, it, it's not a plus one in my eyes. If the effect monster leaves the field, you can banish it instead. It's already leaving the field. So it's not that massive, but this could come up uh, for floating effects. And it could kill a face of spell size trap sometimes, which also could come up. It could take care of face of spell size trap, uh, but then it'll, like, it, only if it leaves the field. It's not that good. This is the worst one for sure. Now we're going to go into the, the, the boss of the deck, which is the Remy Cord Kulea. Cool. Like Carlito. So. Next, the effect says, you can special summon this card from your hand by tributing two pendulum monsters. You're rarely going to do that effect. It is not going to happen very often. But it is still an easy way to summon it. It is scale 8. The best way, uh, sorry, level 8. The best way to summon it is via the effect of the level, of the, uh, level 6 that summons it for free. Uh, you can target one face of card your opponent controls. Negate its effects until the end of your opponent's turn. If you have an odd number pendulum scale, you can target two cards instead. So, just like that, it negates two monsters on the field. This is good to have. It has a big ass attack, uh, 2700 attack, 2500 defense, and it, it is it's very good to have as a one up in my opinion. Don't play multiples because it's searchable. So I'm not a fan of this card. So the card, what this says is three or more. Return one card from your pendulum zone to the hand. And if you do, place one Dremi Cord Pendulum Monster uh, from your face of extra to your pendulum zone. Or if you have three Dremi Cord Monsters, that card sucks. The next effect, five or more Dremi, if you have five or more Dremi Cord Monsters, Special Summon and Dormy Cord Pendulum Monster from your hand. This card's absolutely garbage. I, I can't stress this enough. Literal dog shit, and you're never going to play this card. Uh, and this it says seven or more. How the fuck are you going to have seven or more Dormy Cord Pendulum Monsters? How the fuck is that possible? There's only six zones, Konami. Dormy Cord Field Spell. At first, I thought this Field Spell sucked. Dormy Cord Harmonia. Uh, not reading the other cards. It says, add one Dormy Cord Pendulum Monster from your face of extra deck to your hand. But just by looking at that, you'll think the card sucks. And by itself, it does. But remember when I said at the beginning of this video, that there are cards that work very well together with this deck. So the Remy Cords is a deck that you're going to want to play a good amount of Remy Cords in. And by playing Turbo Cards to make Electrum and just Remy Cords and other good plus one Pendulum Monsters. And like Zephyr, Dremi Cords Zephyr will be really good because Dremi Cords have amazing monster effects, not so good scale effects. So that's what you put in the Zephyr. Uh, anyways, uh, so... Uh, the card says, add a Dormy Cord Pendulum Monster to your face outside of your hand. Remember the level 4? The level 4 says, when this card is normal or special summon, 
uh, uh, send a uh, uh, Dorami Court monster from your deck to your extra deck. You could normal summon this card. You could normal summon this card, activate the field spell, search the card you just added, and then normal summon Kutei and get your plus one, and do whatever you want. It's very cool how you could do this. It's very good, actually. And then another thing says is have one Dorami Court card in your Pendulum Zone, gain Pendulum Scales equal to its level until the end of this turn. This could help you Pendulum Summon and activate the secondary effects of all Dorami Cords. Next effect, if you control three or more Dorami Court Pendulum Mon Cards with the uh, Pendulum Monster Cards with different names, uh, you, you can destroy one of the cards your opponent controls. This could come up if you control three or more Dream Guard Pendulum Monsters with different names that have odd number Pendulum Scales or that have even. So if they have odd or even, all th if you have three cards with odd or even Pendulum Scales, you could destroy a card your opponent controls. That could come up because they could also change their levels at times. So this is, this is the field spell is good. It, it, it's good. It, you're going to have to play it. Now we're going to go to the trap card. So this trap says Dream Guard Musica. So this one says, select one of these effects to activate based on the Pendulum Scale Dream Guard Pendulum Monster you control. Odd, special summon Dreaming Cord Monster, even, special summon Dreaming Cord Monster, both odd and even uh, target card your opponent control, destroy it. So the fact that it says both odd and even target card in your, in your thing, so if you have an odd and even scales, it could pop one card, and I, that's the best one, Counter Trap. What this Counter Trap says is, when your opponent activates a monster effect or a spell set trap effect, and you control a Dreaming Cord card in your Pendulum Zone, shuffle one Pendulum Monster from your extra deck into the deck, then apply these effects. Pendulum monster you control are unaffected by that opponent's effect. Cards in your pendulum zone cannot be destroyed by the effect. Cards in your pendulum zones cannot be banished by opponent's effect. So, uh, this looks like uh, this card is fucking garbage. Holy shit. Okay, I thought this card was an Omni Negate. My bad. This card's fucking dog shit. There's no built in archetype that can make Electromite before the pendulum summon as easily as the Remy Court after Endymion. Endymion is number one. Endymion can make Electromite like it's nothing. Resolve Servant, play one of your 10,000 extenders. So Derby Court is the deck that has a built-in extender to make Electromite. And Konami specifically didn't allow that before because it was too broken. So for them to release this deck that makes Electromite this easy is just a, a shoe in that they're going to release Electromite soon. So if you guys love this video, smash the subscribe button. Also, don't forget to check out my Patreon down below. I'm going to post an extra discussion on this video as well on Dream Records. And check out TripGaming.com where you can get your Electromite maps before they come back and be cooler than the crowd because Pendulum does that and you can get your Electromite maps before anyone else. Anyways, so hope you guys enjoyed this video. And Dream Records is not bad. One electron comes back, they're gonna be absolutely amazing. Let's go to the video. Let's see you guys in the video. Peace!